that's not nice. Okay, we're coming up to a room. Actually, let's do that. And let's have you for some fun. Is that everyone dead? That looks like everyone dead. Just you guys hanging out up there. So that's the way they want me to go. This is a dead end. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. That's that happy. No target, so we may as well just move on to base camp. Which again looks a little bit of a nightmare. And we have dude there. What on earth is that? Um, where are you? Rested anywhere. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, just on the off chance that they gave me. Nope, no shaded. Oh, damn you. Hey, there's the next one. And zoop, zoop, zoop. There we go. And up and up and down. Aimed forward because there was a nasty around here. And I'm kind of worried that they'd be back. That's where the bonus was. Here we are, back 
here. So that didn't respawn, which is nice. Um, uh, search for Pish. up, grab some health. back up. Have I flipped out his AI? I may have. I might be right on his limit. This is kind of working. I'm out of range of your gun. What are you gonna do about that? Another couple of shots and you should be down. Come on. Okay. Let's see if he had anything. Or not. Huh. Well, we've got more of these crystals. Well. Well, I was worried that that was going to send me all the way back to the beginning, but hey-ho. It didn't, so I'm happy. That's just some top. Oh. Uh, there should be some health around here somewhere. Huh. Uh, we don't need Pierce anymore, so let's change to Shatter. Uh, 
There we go. That took a bit of shooting to get. <sighs> Okay, so that's that area explored. Ah, health. Just what I was after. Uh huh. Let's move on. This area looks newer. Is it from the upper floor? Okay, that's promising. Didn't really find anything in here, but hey ho. Oh, the collapse department. Oh, that'll explain this layout. Something behind that his barrier. I uh, can't see any more red. That's should just be in reach. Hey. Okay, so we found that. I doubt that this goes anywhere, but I will check to be thorough. Which is a big negatory. So why is the cat in front of that one? Nothing, nada. Okay, so we're going up. Ah. Do you open? You don't. You do, though. What does a collapsed apartment look like? Well, that's promising. That's a capture point. And let's use that. Uh, I doubt that I got any. Nope. Uh, that's a no-go. Okay, got our way in. Ah, uh, shift account part one. To whoever finds this, I am containment processor designer Janine Gibbs, and I'm writing this document, the largest building shift ever to occur. Here are the facts. A considerably large section of the containment sector, including process and protocol offices, are research facilities and a fair chunk of the fire break has been yanked down to the chasm that reaches far below lobby level i think it was a violent shift and i regret to report several casualties injuries are sustained by all but many of us including myself are still mobile we've set up base camp and started triaging there are little supplies we explored our surroundings and found caverns of all things. Maybe we're in some kind of cave threshold, like the quarry. 
wherever we are we're not the first there are some rusty power cores old light signs infrastructure what was ever, what was this area ever used for why did they seal it off why have we never heard of it more employing how we're we gonna get out i don't think you are uh-huh Kiev summary. A series of reverberating sounds observed in downtown Kiev with no clear point of origin. The event was witnessed by city's general public. Mental and physical symptoms were reported, including asphyxia, sleep paralysis, and excessive blank in the reported individuals. Due to a brief nature of the event, overseas bureau agents were not able to respond to it whilst it was active. Immediately upon arrival, agents collected audio recordings taken by local witnesses. All bureau monitoring stations located at global junctions of acoustic amplification were directed to monitor any auditory events similar to pitch, wavelength and duration in the effort of tracing echo epicenters. In the following weeks, similar cases were reported in both various amateur sources and bureau stations in major cities across the globe. Subsequent events diminished in volume and frequency per each occurrence. The event is believed to be generated by a planar faction, though this is not confirmed. Uh -huh. Ooh. This is Director Faded. I require backup at this location. Make way for the director. Okay, we have a challenge then. Uh huh. Oh, that makes a change that it's you guys. Working on it. you Okay, that seems like everything's dead. Uh, let's have a look in here, start at the ground and work our way up. Energy renewal mod. Nothing here. That's reflection of the green lights. I don't like those sounds. But at least we're kind of dealing with this, which is a known variable or quantity that I'm comfortable dealing with. Nothing there.
I'm just trying to do this level by level. Oh wow, the amount of damage I inflict on a place gets scary. Uh, you're flashing red. Level three, then. No, no, no. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then we're here. Just trying to be thorough because they could easily hide a document in one of these. No, oh, I think they're being stingy today. Okay. That means gotta go this way. Um. <laughs> Someone call a plumber. Glad no one was around to hear that. Okay. Uh huh. Um, let's go in here, see if there's anything, and that's no. Something's coming after me, though. Do you go out into that white space? You don't. You don't. That's interesting. Oh, God. Great. Standing on a toilet. Hello, that. Computer program. My House of Representatives. My husband, Francis, read an article before he died about how the universe is just really a computer program. He believed it. I thought it sounded silly, but now I think he was right. Francis was hit by a car a few months ago, a drunk driver. I didn't think it was supposed to happen. My neighbour's son, Jerry, broke one of our windows with a football a week before Francis died. Francis yelled at Jeremy for it. He was a bit harsh. This is important because I see Jeremy on his computer, though they're living through their living room window. He's on it all the time. His mother says he's a computer whiz. I think Jeremy is operating the computer program and he changed the universe so that the driver would hit Francis. He did get it back to uh, he did it get back at Francis for yelling at him. Is there a way to change uh, the computer and make Francis come back? I have some money if it's expensive. I don't know how these things work. I don't care if Jeremy gets in trouble or not. I just want Francis to come home. Francis and I were very happy. I can feel him not being here. I know it's not right. Sincerely, Stephanie Miller. That it? Yep, that's it. Ooh, wait a minute. We got one of those. <clears throat> uh, I can't see one though. Hmm, that's probably a hidden. Uh, ba -ba. 
might as well wait for these to open. Uh, once more into the breach. Okay. So this is the last little section, is it? Ooh, doors. Things. That takes me through there. What's the trick? Randomness, that's the trick. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a set of toilets. So I'm guessing... Yep, another item. Shifting fragment. Can't go in there. Can't get in there, but there is a tape in there. Out and round, I'm guessing. Okay, let's claim this control point. is a dead end. Uh, that'll do. I uh, don't see anything else in there. That's interesting. Oh, that's just to reactivate the trap. Okay. Shift account part two. Gibbs reporting in. It has been eight days since the collapse and still no sign of rescue efforts. The Bureau is either completely unaware of our situation or incapable of helping us, or maybe it's intentional. How many times have we seen the Bureau not give two shits about its own hard working staff when it when they go missing in this place? How many times did we let it slide thinking, oh at least it wasn't me? Too many, I'm ashamed to admit. Anyway, there has been some development. Strange crystals have begun growing through the rules. They seem to block some corridors, but not others. The path of the caves is likely left open, but they're not. But we're not sure why. Luckily, the crystals keep out of the astral spike, one that's been hounding us for days. John, Nicolay and Sarah went to try and find a radio but never came back. We think the spike got them, but I think it's hunting us. Doug says these spikes only exist in the exact astral plane, so what the fuck is it doing here? If we get out here, I'm hiring a lawyer. These are unsuitable working conditions. So you're a button. Uh-huh. Transit control room. Ah. I would have thought. Yeah. This would have done it. Ah, uh, let's do that. You're listening to America Overnight, a beacon in the darkest recesses of possibility for more than 29 years. We have another letter from a listener. This one's unsigned, but postmarked from Toledo. It says, Dear America Overnight, I have the most wonderful appliance for your listeners. It is a miracle of God. A fondue set. A fountain. A blessed gift. 
Blessed is spelled with a capital B. Hmm. Go on, they write. Dive on in. It is molten hot. Perfect for meat. No signature. As far as I know, no fondue set was sent to us here at the studio. Just this letter. Wait. I think there's something else in the envelope. Some kind of black powder with white shards in it? Bone, maybe? Karen. What is this? Karen? We're on the air, Karen. Where are you? What? Why is this powder in the booth? Is this... Is this ash? Oh. Oh, God. Karen? How do I cut the commercial? Well, it worked out in the end. I do love those things. Ah, uh, Kiev Supplement. Uh, details. Recordings from the audio phenomena were uploaded onto the internet shortly after the event. These recordings circulated rapidly on popular message boards. The communications department utilized this exposure by creating Sky Trumpet Hope videos and posting related theories to spread confusion and draw attention away from the event's paranatural origin. Industrial noise, particularly the sound of metal drilling, was found to be a widely accepted explanation. Theories about the sounds emanating from the earth itself, known as systemic hum, uh, seismic hum, emerged from the public itself and were encouraged by the Bureau to generate further misdirection and eventual public disinterest. <laughs> Witnesses of the event were monitored discreetly afterwards, observed symptom symptoms were consistent with blank deprivation, I'm guessing sleep, but subsided after 12 to 15 days, the length of the symptoms directly correlated to the individual's proximity unsheltered to the supposed epicenter once linked although accidental causality casualty can be listed yep and that's America overnight <clears throat> which reminds me picking this one up yep I was gonna be at max so we don't need you don't need you I uh, don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Uh, any of these look the same. Yep. And weapon mods is getting close as well. So, there's accuracy. We don't need that one. Uh, ammo gained, don't need that one, that's a dupe, that's a dupe. Projectile spread, that's better than that one. Get rid of that, and there we are. Right, so that should be everything in here. That's now open, which gives me a shortcut to here. And a little more. And you. Go up. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Uh-huh. So we have button we have a trans that's the altered item looks pretty secure uh -huh. I wouldn't be so sure <clears throat> uh -huh. I should hire someone who built smaller machines uh. 
Okay, I see what I gotta do. So. We gotta find some batteries. Power cores. Okay, uh, you. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Okay, we have power. Don't know why I've done that. Sector C lobby, which probably means I can push this button now. Okay, so why did I do that? Lobby C is still closed. I don't see anywhere there that needs anything else. Okay. So let's see what this button does. No altered material detected in area. Personnel may now safely enter. Have a bureau full day. Oh, that was a terrible pun. Was wrong. Okay, so we secured the item. Now what? Okay, this is definitely hinting at going up here. That's what, okay. Okay. Ah, this will reopen this. So I now have more of a route. Trauma ammo refund. Okay, so that's that way. Transit access. That's interesting. Properly trained. Guess I pass. I am very properly trained. Okay, that looks like the next part of this little challenge. So what's this way? It's 
same thing. Okay. Movie camera supplement. Background. This item first came to the Bureau's attention after a hospitalized mailman from blank Arcanus claimed his injuries had been caused by a movie camera. Further investigation connected to the incident uh, to incident to AL80, which is being shipped in a mail truck at the time. The package camera was lately found in an empty warehouse. The return address led agents to a P.O. box located in San Fernando Valley along with a company called Blessed Pictures. There we are again, Blessed. Whether Blessed Pictures is involved with creation dis or dissemination of this item's VHS films is unknown following list of known films believed to have been shot is Shoot First, Die Last, Unreleased, Coffee Bullet, Billy's First Car, Bike Card, Delivery Disaster. So the exclamation item was used in the filming of an unreleased Western in 1968 and the, on the Italian island Sardana. A cast member was killed during an onset accident stopping production. It is believed that the blessed pictures brought the camera when an equipment uh, when equipment from the shoot was sold at auction. Huh. This is the way we came in. Ooh. Yep. Ah, part three. It's clear no one is coming. We're running out of ideas and supplies. We tried going to the caves to find anything edible, but we all we found was noxious gases and endless pits. The crystals only let us go one way, even though we thought we could see the caves branched out. We did find some weird spiky pillar, but I only got a glimpse of that before the astral spikes attacked. There were a few of them this time. We lost a lot of people. There's only six of us left. We didn't ask for this. We didn't want to come down here. I'm convinced something brought us here. The others say I'm going nuts, but it's clear that this was no house shift. Shift, slide, bathroom, a sector over, or rotate a hallway. They don't drop a full division into the caves. We were brought here. I know it. But for what? Why tear us away from our lives to torture us? If there's some sort of test or mission, then here's some advice for others running it. Give out clearer instructions next time. I hope these notes are good. Read for whatever ranger finds them. Fuck you. Put it in your report, Gibbs. Not a happy person. So... I think I'm gonna go this way. Piss got in. Boom. The nail. Pile of smoking rubble. Marshall blew up the nail? What the hell was she thinking? Okay. Let's just see what that was all about. The hiss got in. The foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. A desperate move. But it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench wouldn't be thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the director's chair warped his priorities. In the end, he valued order over people. The advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. 
The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The hiss can't corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. Well, crap. Okay, so that's actual progress. So... What the hell is that transit thing? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm guessing there's two boxes in here. That's night with a K, the Mecca for VHS aficionados in the greater Dallas area. Yeehaw! The movie is called Delivery Disaster. Uh -oh. We open in media res. A mailman drives a truck of full of packages down in uh, an endless American neighborhood as a pack of rabid dogs chase behind. Now, these dogs are nothing like my mom's, my stepmom's Corgi Chuck. These were some real nightmare hellhounds. The dogs keep pace with the mail truck, tearing chunks out of the driver's legs and arms. Each package he throws out the door is marked by his bloody handprint. He screams in pain and confusion, and this goes on and on until the movie just abruptly ends. There aren't even any credits, which is a pretty bold choice. Is this film a commentary on how our 9 to 5 jobs are killing us, or how hostile the modern world is to outdated concepts like mailmen? Perhaps it's merely a statement about the futility of purpose and how no task can ever be really done. There are lots of ways to interpret it, but for now, let's get to the part you're all waiting for. It's score time! Score. I give this film a 4 out of 5 only because the actor frequently broke the fourth wall by looking into the camera and shouting at it, like he was shouting at the audience. A little too on the nose for me, but I did enjoy it, and I recommend you check out other films produced by Blessed Pictures. Bike Card and Coffee Bullet are the only others I found, but this little art house studio certainly knows how to push the boundaries of Western cinema. <whistles> and a friendly reminder that there will be no new episode next week, as I will be visiting my aunt in Delaware for Thanksgiving. Thanks for listening, all you Brian fans, and remember, we all love movie magic, but don't forget about the you magic. Until next time, Moody Dan. Brian's Moody Dan. Moody Dan. Brian, 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 Brian. Okay. A little bit scared now. Right. Uh -huh. Right. I gotta go AFK a second.
Okay, we're back and we got a lot more stuff again. Um, you can go. You can stay. You can go. Um, you're a duplicate. You're a duplicate. Okay, that seems like everything's in its right place. Oh yeah, that would be episode three. Why do I get a feeling where I'm going? There's going to be more of that. Are you new language I learned a brand new language the fish taught me you probably don't believe me so I'll prove it okay see please publish this letter and maybe other fish speakers will get in touch Oh, he's probably giving out his address. They'll be able to read my address, even if you can't. Yep, I thought it'd be something silly like that. Um, so it's back this way. Yes. Question mark. No, it's not here. this way that's there um, I thought there was another elevator ah yes down here what are you? 